we are basically building in a security systems cctv cameras alarm systems intercoms videos access control system and our company is also training young people basically how to uh, how to do these works practically the minimum qualification we are looking at is primarily seven so whoever is there are willing uh, to be trained that our office are open and very open so the challenge you are facing in this business they are basically around the city one is about marketing uh, see this this kind of business needs more about in marketing how do you reach people to know that you can do that and also how do we reach young people to know that we can help them train them in a professional way a second is capital uh, sometimes we may need to extend our branches or services to different parts of the country so as to benefit most of the young people who may need these skills with them but capital imitation is there thirdly it's all about um the people that may come they take you you take measurements with their site but at time they don't call you or put in your money you have when they are or inspect with their site so basically those are the challenges Brian, thank you so much for your question. And uh, we salute you, you're doing amazing, but you need to take your business to the next level. What I got from you is that you have three challenges. The first challenge is cracking the sales and marketing puzzle. The other one is access to capital so you can get to expand your business and actually get to you know, run trainings across the country. The other challenge is clients taking you for granted, potential clients. You go to ground, you do your recce, but someone just flees, you know. and. Uh, at that point in time you've already incurred costs so let's start with challenge in number one um, and the beauty is that your kind of business you've been able to diversify your streams of income as much as you're offering security systems you know services CCTV cameras alarm systems and all those things that have to do with security then you're also offering training to young people who want to get into the same space um, you have pointed out that your main focus is from people who are you know p7 levers all the way up so it's an amazing thing that you're doing and I congratulate you on that bit last week we did look at uh, the importance of making sure that you diversify your streams of income just looking into your business and getting to know what other avenues in this same business can I get to you know um, increase my sales and so solution number one Challenge number one, solution number one. The challenge is cracking your sales and marketing, you know, kind of puzzle. So we did focus on that and we did have the same episode on increasing your sales funnel last week. Um, and that video is on YouTube. As you can see right there on your screen, that video is on YouTube. So head to YouTube, just search for NTV Uganda Morning at NTV, how to increase your sales funnel and you'll get the solutions right there on how you can go about increasing your sales funnel how you can go about increasing your sales and numbers so to speak of course it has a direct effect on your bottom line now solution number two still on you know cracking that puzzle of sales and marketing I'll tell you, make sure that you form partnerships with the primary level schools and, uh, you know, even secondary schools and tertiary level kind of schools. Form partnerships with these particular schools. Now, the beauty of that is since your focus is of, you know, students who are P7 leavers all the way up, once different schools know that, you know what, um, you know, um, Brian and his Mali Tech Limited offer training, you know, for this, you know, kind of, or, you know, services, security services once they know that they'll be able you know schools know students who are not so good and they know um, their students who are interested in you know handy kind of you know careers they know their students and that's the way you can get to link in because you want to increase your sales funnel and your problem is how do I get to identify the students who want to you know join this training the other thing is the beauty of partnering with these schools now you'll be able to craft a program a post you know graduate program so to speak once these children actually you know are done with their p7 examinations there's that period of time where they're idle 
they're waiting for results so they can join the next level of education so make sure you identify with this school so that you can create a course or just a, you know a crash program such that even parents get to understand that these are the services that you can offer to their children as they wait for their results and as they wait to graduate to the next level of education now schools the reason as to I'm, t I'm also telling you to partner with schools they're going to be your direct linkage to parents parents who are gonna be pay the school fees for their children to undergo such training so partner with as many schools as possible primary level schools and even the other levels of schools very important the other thing that will be a quick solution to you I, I did mention this is that you need to camp where the parents are and I'm saying camp where the parents are literally the reason as to why I'm saying this is because as much as fine you will get it right on the school level you will even try and I want you to brainstorm on other avenues as much as I'm telling you to partner with schools now brainstorm that is just an opener to trying to show you what avenues you can look at now the other thing where you camp with the parents where the parents really are is parents go to churches on Sunday yes uh -huh. that's an example of where you can find parents uh, parents are involved in different activities over the weekend where are they so just sit down and see where are these parents where can I you know find them and create marketing strategies sales and marketing strategies to ensure that you get to them and you give them information that of course they will get to you know um, digest real quick because someone who is in church really doesn't want heavy information so just be creative about it now the other quick solution before we go to challenge number two is uh, streamline your training course to excellence standards. The reason as to why I'm telling you this is businesses thrive on referrals. Once the world knows that with regards to security systems training, the go-to company is Malitech because of their experience, their previous experience with you, let me tell you, a satisfied client or a satisfied partner or a satisfied stakeholder is immediately turned into your sales and marketing partner and you're not paying them, they're just preaching their messages out there and your messages out there. So make sure that your offerings are to excellent standards because just that, only that will market you. Now the people who have gone through you and are satisfied with what you did to them and and the value added to them will automatically market you they will tell a friend and a friend will tell a friend and that way you get to expand your business and more people will come to you not just for the training services but also for the different services that you offer CCTV cameras uh, camera systems alarm systems and all these other things so that's it so look at it and uh, give me um, updates on how you find that and how you're able to implement that let's go to challenge number two and did you tell me that the other challenge, great, great challenge for you, is access to capital? You are, you know, very passionate about what you're doing, and you'd like to expand your services to the rest of the country and the different regions in the country. And so, for you to actually be able to access capital, um, the first thing, the first quick, quick, quick winner that many, you know, business people go for is trying to look out for investors or partners who have an interest in the same, you know, thing and don't want to start from scratch with regards to establishing a new corporation that does the same thing. So they just look out for someone who is already doing the same thing and they put in their money right there. So look out for investors who, you know, are like-minded, like-minded investors so you can realize this particular, you know, um, kind of solution for yourself. The other option, if that does not work out, um, just look into financial institutions and try to apply for different uh, credit facilitations. That could be a winner for you. Just look into what is the value of your company currently and see how you can get to approach the different financial institutions for them to, uh, to, to, to support you. Of course, the conversation has been access to credit is always a challenge for business people, but you see, you just try it. Try it. If option number one does not work out, you have that. The other solution for you with regards to access to capital, ensure that you streamline your operations to enable your business to fund its own expansion. Now, this is the most sustainable option for you because once you have been able to streamline your operations and your operations are at 100%, then you will get stable and consistent, you know, um, kind of streams of inflows of money and capital 
and so in, uh, uh, and at that point in time if your business is if it's your business that is generating this money now you'll be able to look at what percentage are you willing to sacrifice so you can establish you know uh, an extra you know kind of firm in the different regions that you'll be looking into for example you can say okay fine in the next five months now that my business is you know having a steady stream of income for the next five months I'll set apart 50% of the profits and invest it into a different you know farm in a different region maybe we'll establish now another branch in a different region for example in Barara or different areas that you've had an eye on for a longest time now the beauty of this is you'll not be indebted to anyone yeah because solution number two with credit you have to pay that money back so with solution number three you making sure that your business actually funds its own expansion is you'll not be indebted, indebted to anyone and then it will also push you to ensure that you actually make sure that your business works you will always you will never be comfortable you always be looking at options as to how you can make your business thrive because you know that money will help you to expand as much as you know this is a stable you know kind of solution and maybe a go-to solution for many then it takes time so if you really want to expand in an instant then maybe look at option one and two looking out for like-minded investors and also looking at credit facilitations from the different financial institutions okay let's jump on to your challenge number three where you're telling me that uh, the other big challenge is that clients get to take advantage of you so they come to your company they tell you okay um you know I have this institution coming up or this building coming up and I'd like you to install CCTV cameras for me or alarm you know um, alarm systems for me and different other security you know features in the building and once you go down there you do your recce then uh, this cast clients quote unquote and nowhere to be found and yet at that point you've already incurred costs the first solution I'll give you is just ensure that you strive to be excellent um, in your offerings because let me tell you what if this client who comes to you came at a point of referral maybe they were referred to by their business partners or their friends or someone who actually did work with you before and they were very happy with what you offered to them then when someone comes from a point of referral they will not play a game with you they will not take you in rounds they'll actually come in pay the deposit and they'll make sure that they sign the deal with you and give you the job so make sure that you're excellent from step one to step B so what I want you to look at today is the client journey pointers that you have what are the touch points for the different clients that you have once they call you how do you handle them how what are your interactions with your clients that will ensure and also your services as well for example if you have alarm systems that are fake then uh, the wrong world you'd go around so make sure that every single client touch point is at a hundred percent because if someone really knows that you're the best that there is in the city in the country they will not play games with you now the other thing is making sure that you systemize and classify your operations and offerings what I mean with this is that make sure that you um, make sure that every single interaction that you have with clients especially when it comes to you going down to doing a recce at least attach a value to that because the reason as to why some clients take us for granted business people is because we, we we don't know the value of what we have to offer so look into yourself look at the services you offer what is that value and attach value onto the same so make sure that you validate your services your offerings and what I mean is even if it means just um, for the client to pay in something small for you to go down to do a recce do just that but that means that you have to be the best that there is so strive for excellence and all these things will just come into play so um, that's it for the solutions today I hope that you got that you took note and that you will get to implement without implementation nothing will happen so I wish you all the best in case you face challenges in between as you try to implement this the number is on your screen zero seven five zero nine three three zero eight eight get in touch and I'll give you solutions and be able to guide you through to the end and I wish you nothing but the best and for you the business person watching me today in case you have a business challenge that's the drill um, just take your smartphone and do your voice recording or video recording and send it to that particular whatsapp number I'll get to look at it and give you solutions every Wednesday and Thursday that's it for business updates this morning I'll see you tomorrow with another question and I'll give you solutions to the same we're taking a short bumper we'll be back with the crew
watching Morning at NTV. Morning at NTV. Good morning. If you're joining us at this time, you're the latecomers that eat bones. But uh, today's bones have some flesh, so you're going to enjoy them. Anyway, the hashtag is morning at NTV. A couple of discussions on there in case you want to share your opinion. You can uh, go to our social media platforms on Twitter and Facebook and let us know what you think about. A um, couple of discussions today. Today, um, we were talking security, and that's uh, a discussion that is very interesting, of course, uh, uh, 